Hello and welcome. In today's video, we'll show you how to run calibration on the Mindry BS 240. Please consider subscribing if you haven't done so. The machine is programmed to prompt you when there's a need for calibration. It does this by turning the reagent button at the functional area red. And this also means that our calibration factor has expired. And so we'll click on it and then it will show us the specific analytes whose calibration factor are out. And so we can see uh, ALP's cal is out. And then also we can see triglyceride calibration factor are out. Okay, so we'll prepare to calibrate these and run control for this. To begin with, we tore our multi calibrator and control which we allocated in the fridge. Okay. So this is a multi-level control in your picture. So that's how it looks like. And then this is the calibrator. They have all been allocated and frozen. And then as to when you need them, you bring them out and then you tour them. Within less than five minutes, it's gonna tour. So you allocate them about 500 microliters in each of tube. And as to when you need them, you'd bring them out and then you tore them ready for use. Okay. So as we wait for it to tour, we'll now program our machine for the calibration. Okay. So at the reagent side, we'll see the reagents that need calibration. And usually they will turn red as we see ALP turn red. And you can also come down, you see the triglyceride also turn red. And so we'll go to the ALP side and select it, come down and also select for the triglycerides. Okay. In this uh, demonstration, the biomedical scientists decided to calibrate for urea also because the calibration factor is getting close to running out that is has just one day left and so decided to calibrate that one and that's very good instead of waiting for a day later you have to tour another uh, multi-calibrator to use you can do it right away it will just overwrite what you have there and then give you the new calibration factor so that's what we did in this demonstration and so after you have selected all the ones that you want to calibrate, what you do is that you click on F5 to request for the calibration, and then you click on OK. So the machine is programmed for the calibration. Good. So you check for the position of the calibrator at the status side. So you can see that it's at position one. So that is exactly where we'll be placing our calibrator. Okay. So from here, we turn our attention to our calibrator and then control. We have them ready. By this time, they would have fully taught. And so we need to transfer an amount, let's say anything from 300 microliters and above into our microtube. And then from there, we can transfer into the machine. You can see our control is fully taught. It's okay ready for use and so is our calibrator as well taught and then we can pipette some into our microtube and then use that's our microtube it's labeled as the cow and so we'll open our calibrator it's a multi-level calibrator as i already mentioned and then we'll transfer an amount into our microtube now um anything above 300 microliters will be fine in fact, the machine will even use less than that. And so this quantity is enough. And then we'll transfer to our machine. So we'll open the machine and then we'll now put our calibrator in there. We'll load it. So that's our calibrator. Okay. So um, the camera is now allowing us to view position one. So we'll turn the carousel a little so that we can show you where position one is okay i think this is fine and so we'll now place or load our calibrator as i already mentioned in position one so you can see it loaded in position one 
from here we can uh, close it and then turn our attention to the system so at the system side we'll click on play to begin our calibration when you click on it this prompt will show you also select no for that this one is and then you select ok so the initial prompt is just like an inventory taking an inventory of any reagent that has been loaded and we did not load any new reagent and so we just click on no and then ok with the second prompt and then our call will run ok so from here we can see that our calibration is done and then the reagent button is no longer red it means that everything is fine so we can uh, click on it to visualize our results you can see everything is no longer red and then to view our results we can click on the biochemistry calibration and then we use this button to select any particular one that we want to see so let's look for the one we calibrated aalp and then you click on the search you can see that the calibration factor the new one has been displayed there you can also look for all of them so we click on all search for them and then it will display all your calibration factors the new one it's always good to print them and save them so that in the future when you're having problems with new calibrators you can refer to them credit to nanesi for this video and then thanks for watching like share and subscribe